Get ready to work hard and torch calories with Equinox trainer, Rainier Pollard. That's right. If you're advanced, grab a pair of some medium weights and get ready to work. Okay, uh, let's start our warm up with some arm circles. I'm gonna put my right arm up, left arm down, and start a nice little swing. Small bend in the knees, push that booty back. Now I got Brittany to my right doing modifications and Anna to my left taking the challenge of all the crazy exercise <laughs> to the full extent of its ability to my left. So, big old circles. This might teach you real, a lot about your range of motion in yeah. the arms. You might discover something a little weird or kinky. <laughs> You know, just pay attention to that body. In five seconds, we're going to reverse the swing of these arms. Get ready for it, set, and reverse right there, okay? <laughs> now, today we're doing something called a super Tabata, uh, AKA something we made up. But um, <laughs> it just means that we are gonna have some intervals that are 40 seconds. If you've done um, uh, other Tabata videos, you know that Tabata is normally 20 yeah. seconds on. 10 seconds off, but today, for a lot of our strength training exercises, we're gonna do a nice 40 seconds on and 20 seconds off. You know, <laughs> you give a little more, you get a little more. Yes. It's also the way life works, people. Okay, let's go to the edge Ooh. of our mat. We're gonna get some crawls to up dogs. Already feeling that blood flow in full body. Mm -hmm. yeah. I want you to bend the knees, hands on the ground, crawl forward, lower the hips, Shift forward on those feet. Take the chest through those arms. Keep a really long neck. And booty back up to the sky. Crawl it back. Plant the heels. Let me get hands at prayer. And left leg back, reach those hands up to the sky. Nice full stretch. How low can you drop those knees? Back to a squat prayer. And right leg back. Reaching up to the sky. Oh, enjoy it. Stretch it out. Stretch it out. Back to prayer and crawling forward. Let's get it again. Shifting forward, just coming through. This is, um, as many of you know, my favorite part of the workout. Warming <laughs> it up. Yeah. Can we just skip from right here to the end where we stretch? No, because then you wouldn't watch these videos. Okay. Again, same deal. Reverse lunge reaching overhead, and same principles but when we're in that up dog. I want you to try to let your chest go right through your arms, switching those legs. And now in this next round of the up dog, I'm gonna dive in, taking my chest towards the ground and pull through. Low, too high, feels so good, opening up those hips. Oh yeah, and return from when she came, and push that booty up. Call it back. And we're gonna add a little tilt onto this reverse lunge. So, left foot back. Since my right leg is forward, I'm gonna put my right hand towards the ground, leaning towards the right, oh. feeling that stretch down the left side body. Back to hands to prayer and a squat. Right leg back, both hands up, and left arm down to the left. Ooh. That feels so good. Am I lying? Yeah. Woo. <laughs> Lovely. Right back in front of the chest, and we're gonna go one last crawl. Forward, dive it in, pull it through. And I expect you just getting higher and higher to the sky above. Mm. Okay, say a little prayer. You're gonna make it through this. And <laughs> <laughs> right back down and high. Okay, last time with that active um, stretch. Leg back, hands high. All right, since my left leg is back, that means I'm leaning right. If you can touch the ground, don't be afraid to. And back in, right leg back, both hands up, and lean to the left. Ooh. Oh, it feels so good. Let me just stay here for a moment. Okay, and back in. I, I gotta remember, it's not all about me here. Okay, y'all, you feeling warmed up? You feeling good. warmed up? Good. All good. Let's hit these weights, bro. Oh, Let's no. Do it. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, first up, we're going to start with a round of heavy squats. Now, this is one of those examples where we're going to do 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. So, Got it. it's all about moving these hips back to front. Let's get it. Okay. My feet are shoulder width apart. I'm pushing my booty back and squeezing that butt up. Join me here, y'all. Low to high. Now, with Tabata, the first goal that you have is good form. 
Once you have that, I want you to show me how fast you can move while maintaining that good form, okay? Got it. So, as you're feeling good, for 20 seconds into this interval, if you can speed it up and still drop it low and squeeze that booty on the way up, hello, please do it. Ooh. Okay? It's our first exercise. I expect you to dive in with some vigor. Can we get that booty at least to parallel <laughs> of the knees or a little bit lower? How low can you go? Rest, dumbbells down. Ooh. I swear, there could be a Ooh. whole mix of how low can you go playing out throughout every workout video because it's really about how low can you go. Speaking of which, we're gonna sit down low, hands at prayer, squeeze that butt and land low. 20 seconds at a time starting now. Oh boy. Low and high. Now you can see Brittany is giving me power, still squeezing that butt and just getting up on those toes. I, on the other hand, with the lovely and strong Anna, Woo! are giving you some high flying fun. I want to see you jump high and wonder, wow, what's the air like up there? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and rest. It's fresh. Right? That's what I'm saying. That's how you get above There's the pollution. You got to jump high, people. <laughs> Three seconds till the second set of this. Go. Let's get it. Squeeze that butt. Notice. When I say squeeze that butt, you know I'm doing it because my hips are getting all the way forward, pushing right back, okay? If your hips are finishing here, you ain't squeezing that booty. Right. When a butt squeezes, it pushes forward, okay? Squeeze it up, squeeze it up. Three seconds, you can get one more big one. Ah. Yeah. And rest, okay. Oh. Now, we get to grab onto these dumbbells, put them right back on the shoulders, and we're gonna do a nice reverse lunge now, okay? okay. Hit it up. You don't gotta catch your breath. You just gotta move. And go right back. Now, I'm gonna tap my knee to the ground because I'm so flexible. <laughs> but <laughs> what I'm right, trying to say with that is, I want you to focus on a nice long range of motion. If you can gently tap those knees to the ground, please do so, okay? As I was saying, it's all about how low can you go? How low can you go, okay? Because we're not only trying to get stronger, we're trying to get stronger through a longer range of motion, y'all. Yeah. Okay? It's called injury prevention. And it forces you to go slower, too, because you don't oh, want to crack yeah. your yeah. kneecap. <laughs> That's the truth. Last one here, and rest. So, now, just like before, we're going to engage with some power. So you can either give me big old lunge jumps, landing low, or if you know you're not there, feel free to make it a little skip, okay? But let's try and keep it as continuous as possible. Three seconds, ready, go! Nice high flying fun for me and Anna. Brittany's gonna show you how to keep it rocking and still keeping it low. Okay? Yeah, Brittany. Powering Ooh. high. We got less than eight seconds. Ugh. Breathe oh. and move. Use these arms to your advantage and rest. Okay, 10 more seconds remaining in this break. And our first spot is gonna be done after the next set of lunge jumps. Let's hit it, y'all. Ready, go. Switching out these legs, exhaling, breathing hard. How high can you get it? Still ah. on that same principle of dropping that knee as low as we can, really absorbing the brunt of the movement in that muscle, ah. right? Ooh. Not in the joints. Rest, wow. shake it off. Ooh. I'm getting a high Thanks, five. Renee. Yeah, legs are jello. <laughs> legs are jello. See, I'm gonna admit it to you guys. We got a lot of shoulders done here um, in this workout. We will have a lot of shoulders. So my brain's out of whack because all my blood is in my legs right mm -hmm. now. But the good part is we get to get down and we're gonna focus on some push-ups right now. Now, when it comes to push-ups, one thing I see is when I ask for tricep push-ups where the hands are about shoulder width apart or closer, a lot of people have difficulty bringing them back around your ribs. Right. Which is what I'm looking for. And normally the problem is their hands are too far north of their shoulders. How are you gonna make anything good happen here? Yeah. So what I want you to do, move your hands south, directly underneath your shoulders and lean in. Supporting those hips, okay? <laughs> the booty is not down. That's called making love. This is a push-up <laughs> with supported hips, you dig? So, Woo. I'm going on the toes. 
you may be on the knees with Brittany if you'd like, or join me and Anna getting on those toes. For as many <laughs> as I can go. <laughs> I believe in you. Okay, ready, go. 20 seconds, low to high, diving in. Now, I care about your range of motion getting low. We will have moments in this workout where it is all about moving fast. And if you're good at push-ups, hey, maybe this is one of those moments. Ooh. But rest. If you know push-ups is not one of your fortes and you dread it, focus <laughs> on the strength training. Get low. Second set, go. It's just 20 seconds, okay? I could have made this a 40-second interval because I'm in charge. You got to do what I tell you. But I try to be there for my people, okay? I want you to succeed. I'm your friend, not your enemy. You are. Trust in me. <laughs> Low to high. Hug those elbows in, y'all. You Rest. want my triceps banging. <laughs> See, I want to start with these triceps, get them exhausted, and then we'll let the larger muscle groups help us out. Now, we're going to burn it out now. Grab these dumbbells, feet on the ground at least beyond your knees, squeeze your butt, hips high, and let's push these weights up. I want high to low. Let these elbows touch the ground. And I want a burnout set, okay? Ooh. You're just gonna oh. breathe consistently, push these hands up. Um, now, I want you to move in accordance with the weight that you have in your hands. If you feel like that weight is really light, move it fast, y'all. Move it fast, y'all. Okay. These eight pounds do not feel light right now. I know these feel way heavier than they should. If oh. that's what's going on, oh. I need you to slow it down and keep it moving. That's all I'm asking Straight. for, y'all. Squeeze that butt, it'll add to the power, and it'll help you out, I promise. Just one set, and rest. I told you, give a little, get a little. That was a 40 second interval. You get 20 seconds of rest right now. You do have to turn over, and we're gonna go to wider push-ups, which will be easier than those narrow push-ups. If you feel like you got nothing left, you can hold a plank with Brittany, but if you can, 20 seconds of push-ups wide. Go, yeah. Lean into it. Now, I want the same principle. Even though we went wide, you're still going almost north as you get into that push-up, right? Trying to get that chest all the way to the ground. Lock those knees. Keep that nice long neck and rest. <sighs> One more set. No more push-ups today. I promise I'm not allowed to lie to you. Pop Sugar told me, okay? Second set. Let's do it. All right. Got Go. This. I believe it, I believe it. And you gotta believe too. A lot of times at exercise, the biggest thing I see holding people back is that they don't believe they can get through. Believe it first and then achieve it. Set the goal. Know that you can, know that you will. If not today, tomorrow. Rest. Okay, the uh, fun is not over with this Tabata. We are going to finish out burning this chest out with wide chest press. Hips are up, dumbbells in hand. How fast can you move it? Go, nice and wide. Now, if those weights are feeling light, you can take this to a full fly, y'all. I'm taking my dumbbells all the way down to the ground, stretching the chest, exhaling and squeezing the chest as the hands are coming towards each other, okay? We're already halfway there, and as we said before, if it's feeling light, speed it up. Ooh. If it's feeling heavy, suffer and suck it up. No, yes. <laughs> Keep it moving, y'all. You're eight seconds away. It is almost out of here. You just gotta believe. You just gotta <laughs> believe. Believing, believing, achieving. <laughs> and squeeze it real good. Uh, and Whew. rest. Nicely uh. done, nicely done. Uh. Okay, y'all. Okay, arms are fried. Hello. <laughs> I'm feeling myself. But. This is the flex I like to have before I go out at night. So if you ever need it, just a way to look really yeah. good before, you know, yeah. get the twins looking good. That's like the, the Tabata <laughs> spot to do. Okay, y'all. Now we're gonna get into some bent over rows right now. Okay. And what's important with that is I really wanna see a nice neutral spine, flat back from the top of your head to the bottom of your booty. And one of the ways to really get that to happen is one, to use a nice little bend in the knees, because mm -hmm. that'll let you use the booty and a little less lower back. And then beyond that, 
One thing that will really help with the form is really get your bro on, as I call it, okay? Your chest is up, pushing through your shoulders, hard to press get down your back. On. I like it. You know how you want to, what's up, bro? <laughs> you got a prom? You got a prom, bro? <laughs> this is the way I do rows, bro. Keep my chest up, push my booty back, and then I row my arms up and squeeze my <laughs> upper back really good. You ready to join me? Let's do this, bro. Okay, so roll those shoulders back. Weights in front of the leg, stick up the booty, and let's row it out. I want a nice squeeze at the top so we really get those rhomboids working, right? Those muscles that depress the scapula, that upper back, pinch those shoulder blades together. Oh yeah. Now, again, we're moving in accordance with how you really feel about that weight. So one, if you're feeling really good, you can speed it up as long as you give me a really good squeeze at the top. If the weight's feeling light and your form is on and popping, you could even, lower your shoulders in comparison to your hips as long as you're um, still maintaining that nice neutral spine, that length. Right. Okay. Our number one enemy is hunching during this movement. Rest. Now we're going to go from that, give the lower back a uh, twinge of a break by getting on the hands for a nice renegade row. 20 seconds of the time, we're going to be pulling up high and it starts just five seconds. Brittany's gonna be on the knees for modified. Let's get it, go. Now, easy here, I put my toes on the mat because I'm sweating like a crazy person <laughs> and slipping, so the mat helps with that. But you can put your feet as wide as you need if you'd like to be on the toes. And I want you to try to squeeze your butt, lock your knees, rest. That was the first set. The more still you're keeping those hips, the more of a core exercise you really make. Yeah, you really want to rock on that, but you have to fight it. And second set, that's the truth. Okay, ooh. Fight rocking those hips, just like Anna was just talking about. Also, the less I hear, when or you hear, because I really can't hear you at home. <laughs> Gotta be honest about you, that. You can hear ours, right? It's true. When those weights are coming down, if I don't hear a thing, rest. I know that you're using more muscle and not allowing momentum to take over. Let's come back up. When you get back to that hinge position, I like to start always. Roll those shoulders down the back, get your bro on, lift the booty. You're allowed to feel a little sexy, I understand. This time we're gonna do a reciprocal row. Both arms are moving at the same time, completely opposite of one another. Let's get that set here, y'all. Timer's on and popping. So again, I want the center of your body staying completely still. If you're feeling good, you can speed up as long as it doesn't turn into something crazy, right? Keep the center of the body nice and controlled, moving these arms. You'll notice I'm looking straight down because that makes it a lot easier to keep your neck in alignment. And I'm always I'm thinking of one part of my body that I can try to get more out of. Maybe you're starting to shrug a little bit, so you wanna force your shoulders down your back even more. Maybe you can feel the squeeze at the top yeah. by giving that extra pull through the elbows. Rest. Huh. Now we're going back down, getting those renegade rows again. Some people hate keeping their hands on the weight. You don't have to. Put your hands at the side, grab one weight at a time. Right. If that's what you need, boo, do you. Okay, <laughs> rows, go. Squeeze that butt. Drive those elbows high and breathe through. Breathing is your friend, y'all. A lot of times people try to build the pressure in their body, holding their breath, thinking that's a good idea to exert more force. No! Breathe! Breathe, let it I out! I need you to breathe! Okay, rest. Oh my gosh, so hard. One more set and then I'll show you a hard <laughs> Oh, it's get, it gets worse, <laughs> it gets worse. Renegade rows, go. Oh, yes. Uh, pull it up high, pull it up high. One at a time. If it's starting to really burn, you just focus one at a time. It's almost over. Okay, let that sweat pour. I know some of you know, whenever you watch my videos, we're having a sweat competition. Yes. Whoever sweats the most wins. <laughs> Rest. Okay. This is your opportunity to catch up with my sweating habits um, on our next Tabata interview, I mean an interval. If um, you're really far behind this sweaty mess, don't worry, I'll give you time to catch, catch up. up.
Because next up, we're getting the heart rate up with some high knees, okay? Oh boy. Now, a lot of times when we get into these cardio intervals, people try to start it a little slow, trying to make sure they can make it. Now, I want you to go as hard as you can. And if you need to slow down before the interval's over, fine, we can make that happen. But go as hard as you can, believe you can make it. Believing is the first step. So we're starting with some high knees. Brittany's gonna give you a good modification. Oh, yeah. She's driving those arms down. Two, one, go, hard as you can. Let's go, nice and fast, nice and fast. This is the 20 second interval, y'all. It'll be over before you know it. Let those yeah. arms move. Oh, I feel like I feel, I can hear Anna catching me. I can hear her catching me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Come on, let's go. Make me speed up, make me speed up. Rest. See, the secret to me running so fast, I pretend I'm running towards the next season of Game of Thrones. It'll be faster. <laughs> I'll get there faster if I run hard. Go, I'll second you. set. I'll meet you there. I you love know. that show. I heard a rumor it's coming out in like 2020. That's so wrong. <laughs> they can't do me like that. Okay. Come on. Drive it up. Drive it up. Let's get it, y'all. Stay tall. Work those abs. Get those knees high. Get that heart rate high. Woo. Rest. Okay. We're going to take it down to the ground. On these hands, you'll be able to catch your breath because you will be doing more of those in a moment. Oh boy. The hips are gonna come up high, and then you're gonna lean forward and give me a knee drive. We start in three seconds, 40 second interval, go. Hips up and in. Nice. So here, we really get to emphasize how much we're working on that core, okay? There's no such thing is leaning too far in mm. to this plank. So, if you can get those shoulders past the fingertips, please do it. And don't think of rocking those hips up to the sky as too much of a break. I know you could use it as that. Let's try and think of it as part of the exercise. Push up. Yeah, like a little pike. Exactly. A right back forward. Yeah. Rust. Whew. Every time Anna like completely understands what I'm trying to say, I feel like being like, girl, you complete me. She had me at hello. I'm with you. Had me at hello. Listen, now that we've already really warmed up these hip flexors, I want you to go balls to the wall with these next high knees. Oh How high can you get them? It's not a rhetorical question. Show me. Go. Drive the knees. Drive the knees. Come on. Pick it up, pick it up. Can you almost hit yourself in the chest? With these knees, use the arms. You can even almost lean back. Come on. Brittany, you can give me a little more than that. I know you're modifying, but girl, let's go. Okay? Drive it up. Drive it up. And rest. Oh my gosh, that wiped me out. Hello. That was like okay. a total to the fatigue. Abs, hamstrings are working, powering these legs up high. Let's get it. We have you're, another one. Go. Oh my gosh. Before you really feel it, just go after it. Okay, just go after it right here. How much power can you produce? I don't know why I'm screaming all of a sudden, but it feels like I need to be screaming. Drive it, drive it, okay? Break it up, break it up. Show me what's up, come on. Drive through it, drive through it. Rest, okay. That was for you, Khaleesi. That was for you, girl. Okay, now we're gonna take the hips up high, lean forward, knees across, that was a Game of Thrones joke. If you didn't get it, please watch that show. What's wrong with you people? It's the greatest <laughs> show on TV right now. Okay. Hips up high. And then we're going to lean forward and drive the knee across the body. 40 seconds. Go. Ha. High and forward. So I'm going to tell you the truth right now. We got through the hardest interval as far as our aerobic uh, capacity is concerned. So right now, you just need to focus and catching your breath and keeping the body moving, okay? Don't succumb to the pain. Your body is so much stronger that it leads on, because it's smart. It doesn't want to go to its maximal effort. It wants you to chill out. It's like, what are you doing? What did I do to deserve this? Why are we in panic mode right now, okay? Ignore it. That's why mind over matter is real. Rest. Okay. We got one more Tabata interval to go. If you haven't yet, feel free to take a sip of water. Oh, I would like to. Okay. If you're wondering, I was one that demanded this pink water yep. bottle. It wasn't pop sugar. 
because I'm about that life. How you doing? <laughs> mm. Okay. So we're gonna get these dumbbells. We're gonna work these abs and work the biceps. We're gonna sit right on the booty. Okay. Oh. Hands are gonna come at the shoulders. And all I need you to do, use this weight almost like a counterweight. You lean back, the hands go forward, stretch that bicep, exhale, flex, and sit up. You ready? Yes. Let's do it. Go, lean it back, exhale up. Now, this with like anything we do. The first thing I want you concerned about is form, getting it to feel right, understanding the movement. And after you do that, if you feel you can speed up, let's get it. Ooh. Okay, the longer my dumbbells stay off the ground, the more my biceps get to work. Yeah, I feel that. Bear that in mind. Okay, you can keep your elbows off the ground or you can even hug your elbows almost into your ribs. Give them a little bit more support and that'll help you out. That is so much harder. <laughs> my elbows were hugged totally on the ground. Holy cow. Rest. Wow. You know Anna naturally picks the hardest exercise. <laughs> okay, the yeah. hardest version of that exercise. We're gonna flip right over. I didn't warn them, that's all like, what's going on? We're gonna lie right on our stomach for some supermans. So we're working that back, working that core. I want you to squeeze your butt, give me a little flutter kick, reach forward, and pull those elbows in. Okay, let's go, timer's on. So we're gonna keep that little flutter kick going. We're working literally the entire posterior here. Yep. Every time my elbows drive in, I'm just focused on squeezing that back, having that moment where I open my chest, breathe. I hope you didn't just eat. Oh my okay. God. I'm just being honest with you. Ah. Not the best exercise if you ate like 15 minutes ago, yeah. Okay. Exhale and drive. Seven seconds. You can kind of oh, look this is down. such a burn. Hello. And rest. Oh. We're gonna flip it right back over. Okay, we just worked that back. Now we're gonna get right back to the front with another round of bicep curl sit-ups. Now, if you'd like, when you come up, you can add a leg lift and alternate it. Okay? Oh. Leg goes down with the hand. Fancy. Go. Alternate. Switch legs every single time. Ooh. Nice oh, yeah. and easy. You're so close to the end of this workout, y'all. This full 30 minute super Tabata. The end is near. Ugh. The end is near, and that is not an apocalypse show. For this, <laughs> this workout. Keep breathing. Exhale as you come up. You got less than 20 seconds. Let's go. Kick it up, kick it up. Flex those abs to bring the legs up more than kicking to make the abs work. Flex those abdominals and drive those legs up high. Almost there, y'all. Five seconds. Come on. Arms are you on. You can get another one. Fire. You can get another one. You can get another one. And rest. Oh my gosh. Turn it over. You can move these weights a bit out of the way because I'm going to make the next round of the Superman's a little more violent. <laughs> I want you to almost emulate a nice breast stroke, okay? Okay. So start with the legs, squeezing the booty, and arms forward and back. Yeah. So. My dumbbells are really close to me, right? What well, I'm in a water bottle. One thing I like about that is it forces you to reach and um, over all of that material right. rather than letting your hands be so close to the ground or touching the ground. Okay. Now you don't need to look forward. You can look straight down. Keep your neck comfortable. We're not. We're not trying to hurt the neck. We're just trying to work that back. Okay. Eight seconds. And this is all a beautiful memory, y'all. Five, four, Ooh. squeeze it, uh, squeeze it, rest it. Uh, Nicely done, y'all. Amazing. You can go immediately in a little oh, child's that's pose. That's exactly what I wanted. I know, we worked that back. <laughs> that, the lower back has to be worked, y'all. If you want to make it stronger, you got to let it burn. You got to let it work just like any other muscle group. Now, we're going to stretch our knees if you don't have enough cushion. If it's uncomfortable, you just fold that mat a bit. Get on the knees. I want you to come up. So what I'm going to do, put my right leg out. I want you to lean this right knee over your right ankle. That's step one. Stay tall and turn over your right shoulder. OK? I'm going to look that way for a while. I'm, I still see you there. OK? Oh, yeah. I still acknowledge you. How are you doing? 
but turn as much as you can over that right shoulder. Okay. See that little trick? It makes all the difference. Yeah, feels now good. come on up. Feels so good. Left hand over. Right arm grabs it. Right ankle over that right knee. And pull to the right. And then you can look up to the ceiling and keep that pull. Okay, feel that stretch all down the side body. Especially after all those high knees. You deserve it. Oh. You deserve it. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, nice deep breath where you feel the tightest. Back up to the center. Right leg is forward. We can sit back now. If it's uncomfortable, you can curl your toe under in the back or you can go flat. Reach the left hand forward. Now for some of you, maybe all you feel is being on your hands right here and letting it marinate because that's the extent. I get it. How you can build to maybe both hands forward and pushing that butt to the back of the room. Ooh. That feels good. See, I told you we should have just skipped from the dynamic warm up <laughs> to this. This is the best part. Oh, no way. That was fun. <laughs> Fair, I'm with it was fun torture, but it felt really good. I'll admit it. I'm just oh. a big old baby. And right knee down. We're going to put that left leg out. And again, left knee leans over that left ankle. Right hand comes around, full twist over that left shoulder. How far can you reach? How far can you reach? All through that hip. Exactly. And, yeah. groin. and a little trick is you can squeeze the butt, which will have an effect on the opposite muscle group by helping it stretch, right? And back in. You can do it right here. You can just set it. Thrust those hips forward, squeeze that booty, help it stretch here. Mm. Right arm over, grab it with the left. Lean the left knee over the left ankle. Pull to the left, look up to the ceiling. Oh yeah. That's the business. That's the business. Oof. Back up to center. And left foot forward. Sit it back again. If you're uncomfortable on that back foot, keep the toe down or you can flatten it out and sit back. Right hand reaches forward. And if you feel good, left hand joins it. Nice. Whew. So good to get this in and kind of force yourself to hold a couple nice stretches here to get ready for next workout. It's true. And it's one of, I was reading an article that was talking about how people really don't understand. One of the most important parts of stretching is it lets your body understand that the workout is done. The time to start healing has, has commenced. Begun. And it's a whole different set of hormones that your body <laughs> releases to make that happen. So yes. take the time. It's good for you. It feels good. And um, you're doing it for the better good of us all. <laughs> OK, y'all. That was ah! our Super Tomato workout. You made it. <laughs> Come on next time. and. Um, Compete with this sweat competition again? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. Thank Good job. <laughs>